And a top focus in Vyana this hour. Pakistan's former president and military ruler General Parvez Musharraf's mortal remains have arrived in Pakistan on a chartered flight from Dubai. The body of the former military ruler will be buried today in the army cantonment area where all arrangements have been completed. General Musharraf, who was the architect of the Kargil War in 1999 and Pakistan's last military ruler, died on Sunday in Dubai after a prolonged illness. The 79-year-old retired general was living in UAE since 2016 in self-exile. According to officials, General Musharraf's body arrived in Karachi on Airbus 319 chartered flight and the funeral prayers will take place at the Gulmohar Polo Ground in Malir Cantonment at 1.45 p.m. local time today. Now, in June last year, the former military strongman was hospitalized for three weeks, prompting rumors of his death. However, his family had to issue a statement to refute these claims back then. Musharraf, who was born in New Delhi in 1943 and migrated to Pakistan after partition in 1947, was the last military dictator to rule Pakistan. For more on this, we are now being joined by Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik, who is joining us live from Islamabad. Hi Anas, welcome to the broadcast. Now, we know that General Musharraf always wanted to return back to Pakistan when he was alive. His mortal remains have now finally arrived in Karachi. Tell us about the preparations and arrangements ahead of General Musharraf's funeral today. Well, yes, uh, you're right there, Rayesha. He always wanted to come back to Pakistan, not in this state, uh, but uh, as per his will, his uh, last uh, resting place will be in Karachi, very near to his, uh, where his father and mother are, very, very near to where, uh, in the same city, in fact, where he had migrated to after being born in Delhi at the age of five, uh, when the partition took place between India and Pakistan. Uh, and uh, that, is, uh, that is how uh, General Musharraf will be remembered, by and large, uh, a person from a middle class family uh, who was somebody who was very proud of his roots of his military career highly controversial a failed politician uh, somebody who took over the reins of power through uh, illegal means uh, but Pakistan saw a boom somebody who was a close friend and ally of the West somebody who was very 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 closely regarded as a as a very very close friend of DC particularly uh, who had gone on uh, to support the U.S.-led war on terror. Uh, in his own words, he had sold people off for as low as 5,000 U.S. dollars, Pakistani people, uh, for uh, to the U.S. But that is how who General Musharraf was. But ge overall, if I talk to you, the preparations of his uh, uh, funeral prayers, of his last resting place, uh, the funeral prayers are to take place at 1.45 uh, p.m. Pakistan time uh, in the Gulmahar uh, uh, polo ground in Malir Cantonment at Karachi. Uh, and the funeral, uh, his last resting place, he will be buried uh, just outside the Malir Cantonment uh, uh, in, the, in the army graveyard um, in Karachi. Uh, the preparations have been done. Uh, We've seen, what we've heard is that uh, security has been beefed up as well. We're still unclear whether the, it will be a state funeral. That is highly yeah. unlikely because remember, in his last in his last years, uh, while he was still a convict, uh, while he was still a fugitive, he was con he was convicted. So there, there's a bit of controversy over there. But what we understand is that since he was a former army chief, therefore, the, in all likelihood, there will be a military funeral for him for him. Rahesha. Right, Anas, like you mentioned, that General Musharraf's last rites will uh, it take place at the army cantonment in Karachi. What is the mood like in Pakistan as of now? Well, as I said, it's, uh, uh, it's more, it's more uh, people are confused. Uh, we've got mixed emotions. We've, you've got people who were supporters of Musharraf, General Musharraf and his policies, because he brought in economic stability. He brought in, uh, he brought in a much more liberalized uh, Pakistani regime, what we understand, uh, departure from what we had seen during General Zia's era. So therefore, uh, it's a mixed bag of emotions. People are uh, sad. Uh, for the, for the person who has left, but at the same time, uh, people are not so sad for the, for, for the very fact that uh, he was somebody who had abrogated the constitution not once but twice. First in 1999, a year after his appointment as the army chief, and then in uh, uh, 2007, uh, the lawyer movement, the Black Revolution, as, as what Pakistan has uh, it is being regarded, it is always regarded as, uh, where he had dismissed the then chief justice of Pakistan. So as I said, um, politicians. 
uh, while we might see some condemnations or some uh, messages of sorrow uh, and uh, sadness coming in, but by and large, there is a divided opinion in Pakistan. In fact, yesterday in the Senate, uh, the, few, the prayers uh, for the departed soul of General Musharraf were not held uh, because a lot of senators opposed that. So, right. as I said, uh, by and large, there seems to be a divided opinion um, here on ground in Pakistan on the demise of General Retired Pariz Musharraf, who also was the former president. Thank you, Anas, for joining us and we're on at this hour and sharing your insights with us. Thanks very much.